OK, let's have a look at this problem. So the first thing we've got to do with a problem like this is rewrite it in power form. So we've got y equals the fourth root of x plus 4x minus 3 over x squared. Now, how do we rewrite that? Well, it's going to be written as 4, y equals, and we've got the fourth root of x, so that's going to be x to the power of one quarter. 4x is just 4x still. And 3 over x squared, well, that's minus 3 times by x to the minus 2, because when we're dividing by a power, it's a negative power. And so now we can differentiate it. So dy by dx is going to be equal to 1 quarter of x to the minus 3 quarters, because we have to subtract 1 from a quarter, plus 4. And now here we're going to multiply by negative 2, and we've already got a negative, so it's going to be plus 6x, and we still have to subtract 1, so to the minus 3. OK, and now we want a, a tangent, so it's going to be of the form y equals m x plus c and we can get the m the m is just our gradient so we want to find m is equal to our dy by dx evaluated at x equals one because it tells us in the question that the point of the x coordinate equal to one okay so let's see what we get we get one quarter of x is now one the minus three quarters plus four plus six lots of one to the minus three and 120 power is still one so this is the same as just one quarter plus four plus six which is ten and a quarter or 41 over four and i'm going to put it as 41 over four and so what we get here is y equals 41 over 4 x plus c now we need to work out the plus c now what we were doing before every time we had to work out plus c was we plugged in the x and y coordinates but we don't have the y coordinate so the way to get the y coordinate is to take this value of 1 and plug it into the original equation because the original equation is what uh, is the equation of the curve we're actually dealing with. So to get the actual coordinate, we need to plug it into the original equation. So doing that, there's a side over here, we've got y equals the fourth root of x plus 4x minus 3 over x squared, and we're plugging in x equals 1. So we get y is equal to the fourth root of 1 plus 4 times 1 minus 3 over 1 squared. And so y is equal to 1 plus 4 minus 3, which equals 2. And so our coordinates we have to plug in is x equals 1 and y equals 2. So we'll plug that in and we'll get 2 is equal to 41 over 4 times 1 plus c. And which then gives us 2 is equal to 41 over 4 plus c, and so c is equal to 2 minus 41 over 4, which means c is equal to 8 over 4 minus 41 over 4, and so c is equal to 33 over 4, but we're subtracting a negative, so it's negative 33 over 4. And that gives us our final answer of y equals 41 over 4x minus 33 over 4. Or often people will rewrite this and write, call, call it 4y equals 41x minus 33, and then just move everything across to the same side, giving us 4, actually let's move the y across, giving us 41x minus 4y minus 33 equals zero and that's often the same a similar form to you would get a quadratic and it's quite nice because every coefficient is an integer